All right, so I watched the recommended videos that you guys are telling me to watch about this 110cc, and it had me rolling on the floor. I mean, it was like watching a kindergartner finger paint. I just, I thought it was hilarious. But anyways, when you don't have a bottom half with the correct geometry to run the cylinder, you know, everything is off to run a 40 millimeter stroke cylinder. And the height's not right. The stroke's not right. Of course, it's going to be port timing like hell. <laughs> but, yeah, you don't have to dremel the hell out of this poor thing. And holy crap. It just, that's a cluster. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to correct the height. I got a piece of aluminum right here. And I got a crank coming from a really good supply place down in Miami, Florida. He's got one sent out to me right away. It's guaranteed 40, 41 millimeter stroke, which is going to throw us exactly where we need to run this correctly. Uh, we're probably going to do a little bit of, of uh, port work on this, but probably not much anything crazy because 95% of those ports are going to be fully functional right out of the gate. So anyways, here we go. I'm going to make a spacer. All right, so we're going to make a spacer. All right, I got my project all laid out. I am ready. Oh, f this.
all right so this is done looks good we're gonna stick it in the tumbler get all the edges off make it shiny so you see all that and you see all that it's another whole pile like that down in the catch bin <clears throat> it's all for making this so I want you guys to keep that in mind when you're dremeling because that whole pile right there probably goes airborne. You're going to breathe in half of it. And that is not good in your lungs. <laughs> but anyways, just keep that in mind when you're making stuff like this. Especially with a Dremel. Because it is going to shoot little particles. And you're going to breathe that in. And the rest is going to go on the ground. But what you don't see, not good. But anyways, I just... Figured I'd point that out. A lot of people don't realize how much particles come off something like this. Or when you're porting something like one of these and dremeling, wear a mask. Seriously. Years later, you'll be happy you did. But let's see how we did. Oh my god, that fit perfect. Let's try it from this side. Line them up. Almost. Oh, that's sweet. That came out perfect. Will it fit? Oh, that's what I like to see. First shot. Drop in place. <laughs> oh. Nice. So, uh, there's my uh, spacer stack there. Oh, that's, that's sweet. So this is going to be perfect. Alright, so I have an AF80 coming. Crank. Uh, it's guaranteed to be 40, 41 millimeter stroke. It guaranteed me it. So it's coming from Miami. Um, uh, the place is really good. So he usually keeps his word. Got a couple things from him now. But, uh... Yeah, we're going to transplant the rod out of this into that AF80 crank with the 40 millimeter stroke and we'll be good to go. I'll probably just switch one rod to the other and put the other one back for some other project. But uh, 37 millimeter stroke crank <laughs> may actually be good for the MS380 I wanted to do at some point just to try one. But anyways, all right, so we'll call that a success. Spacer looks decent. Waiting for the crank now.